Capricorn, welcome to your summarized reading for the year of 2020, and I hope you are doing well. Let me say, because I've been forgetting to say this to the others, and it's really important before we begin. You yeah, know it's a general reading, right? Only a private reading will give you the most accuracy, okay? Um, and yes, I do offer 12-month forecasts for love and finances. If you're interested, the links are down below. But you've got to keep this in mind, okay, that, you know, you can't expect one reading to that's going out to thousands of people to resonate perfectly for everybody. So take what applies, discard what doesn't. Second thing I have to mention is that, you know, if you're tuning in because you want somebody to tell you that next year you're going to win the lottery or that Don Juan's going to come riding in on a white horse, I'm not the reader for that. <laughs> you got the wrong channel. You got to click away now, okay, because this is more about a keep it real, all right? I am more of the mindset to uh, forewarn you so that you are forearmed. And if you don't see that in a positive light, if you see that through a negative lens, again, not the channel for you because I'm going to keep it real on here. And there's some real stuff going on this year. Um, good stuff. I mean, I'm going to say overall, I see a lot of themes about apologizing. Okay, that came up twice. Apologies and also reconciling came up twice. And even this is at the foundation with this knave of chalices. There might be an apology, you know, and right there, a reconciliation, all right? Very big. But you got a lot of closures coming in with this Wheel of Fortune and the World card. And I just see a lot of things closing out for you. However, you know, it might have to do with the water sign. All like all the water signs were showing up. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, real big water signs. And it might also have to just do with your emotions and getting more emotional mastery this year. I do see some of you disconnecting though emotionally from someone who maybe you were very connected to on an emotional level. And it could be that, and this is going to go different ways for different people, right? It's a general reading. But uh, perhaps somebody is feeling like restricted in um, giving or getting an apology. Somebody has probably lost a lot of sleep over this. There's been a lot of anxiety over this situation of giving or getting an apology, possibly involving a water sign. And it does seem like there's an issue with distance and solitude this year. And someone wanting to restore harmony, and maybe that's what the the apology is about. I can kind of even see that throughout the spread and with the oracle card advice that there's some kind of paradox going in, on here where there's been an error in the past that somebody is needing to um, maybe right a wrong, okay, uh, to recover. And they've lost a lot of sleep, been through a lot of worry, anxiety, and stress over this. Um, emotional disconnect, but there's an opportunity for apologies and reconciliation throughout this year. Now, getting deeper into the spread, I can see you start off January with this King of Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be um, your passions, it could be a visionary leader like entrepreneurship for some of you, but again, water sign I'm seeing, and it could have to do with a very empathic, loving, um, emotionally attuned woman okay like the ideal mother or the ideal wife okay but i am seeing conflict going on and definitely involving family like there's a lack of agreement and the uh disagreement and the tension and the strife i can even see with the astrology for this month of, of J january it seems to be over changes going on or how somebody is trying to get evolution of something and it might involve switching partners changing partners or change going on within the partnership uh there's a disagreement about you know i'm hearing a battle of wills okay now by february there could be a sudden recovery a reconciliation or gathering but again i'm almost feeling like it's one-sided somebody's doing all the work in the relationship and they're trying to just kind of hold their ground but they're tired they might be well positioned and be able to take on these duties and responsibilities, but they are exhausted and you really need to take care of your health, you know, in this month and get your rest. 
there might be some family gatherings going on, some celebration, but again, I see somebody under a lot of responsibility and burden that is probably one-sided. Now in March, there could be, uh, huh, I got a storyline on here about pregnancy and I saw it in the astrology as well. So let me say, if you want to have a baby this year, it's going to be a very fertile energy in March all the way through June. However, I am seeing that maybe the masculine energy here is not so open to it. So, and I think the reason why is because of finances, all right? For others of you, this is not fertility. This is about new love, new beginnings, and it's an important partnership. It could be a new sexual union. But again, I'm getting some storyline about there being some indecision or a stalemate because somebody feels blocked or they don't want to take risks in getting delays. And or they think there's something risky about the pregnancy or a new creative passion adventure, maybe with business or finance or with this union, this new partnership. Somebody is, is at a stalemate over this because of fear of risk, delay, blockage, all right? And they maybe have some ma big lesson they need to learn this year about overcoming that, okay? And I really saw in the in-depth that it's, it's more about you learning how to con control within self rather than this external stuff, right? If you're dealing with restriction and limitation, this is a year where you've got to regroup within yourself and, and learn about how do I get expansion rather than contraction in my life. Because I feel like there's an energy here, whether this is about a pregnancy or, you know, the, the birth of a new project or a relationship. There's somebody in the midst here that thinks the solution is to hold back and contract and um, conserve. I can even see it all the way into May, all right? But things are going in your favor. Things are turning in your favor, and I see a lot of happiness and wish fulfillment here. It might involve a Leo. But just be aware that also this fortune's wheel can represent an ex-partner or a love interest coming back. And you might get a chance to have another go at it with this person, uh, which I think is going to make somebody really, really happy. However, there might be some hidden emotional or commitment issues that still need to be addressed. With the four of earth in May, somebody is holding back, protecting themselves, maybe being frugal. I do see that there's some second house activity with Saturn in there in the sec this year of 2020. You guys are dealing with Saturn in the second house, which is bringing limitation and restriction to money matters, property matters, self-worth issues. Okay, I talk extensively about that on Vimeo in the in-depth because that's in my natal chart. I have a natal placement of Saturn in my second house. So I have a very extensive knowledge of that energy and <laughs> I'm definitely feeling for you going through this. And so some of you are being very frugal during this time frame, and that is an advice that you need to conserve. For others of you, this is more on an emotional level, holding back, protecting oneself, maybe even being defensive. And it could be that you have different suitors coming at you. This, this year, and particularly this month, people that are interested in you, maybe somebody exes from the past even, and you're like, oh no, uh -uh, I'm not opening up to that. I'm not opening up to that um, because of emotional issues. But again, I'm seeing something about fatherhood here. And this could be if there has been a pregnancy in um, March, April time frame. This masculine energy that is an expectant father is like resisting it, holding back and not, and I'm sorry, okay, like there, maybe there's something, it might be perceived as an untimely pregnancy because of financial issues and somebody doesn't feel that they have enough, but spirit is allowing this to get you to find your bearings and your well with all, wherewithal to make it enough. It's not about contracting, it's about expanding and spirit is allowing these constrictions and restrictions in your second house to get you to level up, to get you to mature and to increase, okay, and manage things and not be excessive or wasteful. Not that I've ever really envisioned a Capricorn being wasteful, <laughs> but you know, it's a general reading, right? 
it could be anybody. You know, there's a lot of people here. So uh, maybe it's somebody around Capricorn that's being wasteful or excessive. All right. Now getting into June, there's a more self-sufficient type of energy where you there now you have more than enough. And maybe because again, you held back on excessive spending in the previous month. This also could be a single woman here in June. And I do feel like if you're single, it's because these offers, you're just not interested in it. And I think that you're just holding yourself back. You're like, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. I can also see um, if you come into June and financially you are not financially self-sufficient, you need to look at some immobilizing habits that have been going on on a daily basis, routines, things that you think that are not big deal, but ultimately they hem you in and they make you feel like you're not free to really step out and do what you want. It might have to do with your communications and your thinking. Okay. That's a habit, something routine that needs to get broken. And I did see with the astrology, if there's any tension going on this month that has left somebody kind of going it alone, like a single person, it might be because in a couple partnership, um, it comes to light that there's been some kind of Lack of forthrightness in terms of telling the truth and being completely honest and fully disclosing the truth. And so just be aware of that because I saw tension at the beginning in a coupled partnership and now tension again. And this, it, it's almost like from the beginning of this six month time frame, it's about lack of agreement, um, battle of wills over bringing about change and evolution. And then by the end of this time frame, the tension and a couple partnership is about not fully disclosing the truth and being forthright with all the details. Getting into July, uh, here's your card, uh, the temptation, devil card, uh, which yeah, it could simply be you. I think that you might have been involved in this. I can see a lot of threes in this spread and divisibles of three, by the way. So there could have been a three-party situation that you have dealt with or that you are dealing with in this year. Might have involved a Sagittarius or a Cancer. And I think that there is some kind of lack of loyalty here or divided loyalties if it's not a three-party situation it's just a lot of difficulties okay i can see that with the devil card difficulties where there might be a separation going on in the relationship maybe codependency uh occurring but i think there's been difficulties and incompatibilities where somebody needs to have to strength to you know cut their ties and get forward movement on with this and I think there will be progress made, okay? And if you're going it alone, that's your rightful path. I do see by the following month in June, August, <laughs> um, there's blessing here. There's truth. There's healing. There's vitality. And you might be actually reconciling. I definitely saw that if there's been a breakup in the previous month, there's an opportunity for reconciliation by the following month, maybe going out together, having a little vacation or vacation, a little getaway to heal and have an understanding of one another. If you're alone still during this time, you're getting healed. You're getting a feeling of vitality, maybe celebrating with friends, family, and you are trying to manifest a new beginning a new beginning with your dating life. Now getting on to September, I do see with the nine of fire, which I saw earlier this year, it's like, yes, you're tired, you're exhausted. And maybe you are, you know, well positioned here, but I don't know if you want to keep doing this. And it has to do with a commitment, maybe a Taurus or support issues, issues of support, again, involving a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Again, if it's not, a, you know, an actual water sign, it could be about emotional maturity, emotional mastery. And I'm definitely seeing a very loving, empathic energy here. Could be a very emotional issue, though, with you trying to um, get some rest and put down some of these burdens in a relationship. And you might be seeking some wise counsel from somebody during this month about how to do that. And then... In October, I see you getting some really positive closure here. You're bringing to close some major cycle in your life. 
you're getting a lot of success maybe in the workplace okay if it's not you it's another earth sign taurus virgo capricorn and i am seeing uh definitely that there is happiness and vitality and you are getting acknowledgement but just a warning that i think that in the workplace if you've been getting a lot of um you know, credit or affirmation, make sure that they're also giving you compensation in addition to those compliments. And because I can see this is going to be a great time of the year. The last three months of this year are going to be a perfect time for you to ask for bonus or raise. And I think some of you are rising in higher status in, in the career that you're in or your work, your business. Um, but be aware of a lack of mutual effort, though, because I kind of I'm seeing it here this month and I saw it earlier on this month, like there's been some one sided giving and there's a need for mutual effort. So, yeah, you might have been pulling your load and somebody else's and they're like, oh, great job. You know, you did such a great whatever. OK, well, thanks. But, you know, I've been doing the work of two people here. So uh, where's my bonus? <laughs> I mean, obviously, you're going to say in a more diplomatic, tactful way. I know you are Capricorn. But that conversation might need to be had in October through December with a page of water. It could be a um, child. I'm definitely seeing the possibility of two children here. And they might be siblings. They might be friends. Uh, water sign, fire sign. It could be, again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or somebody younger. Okay, if they're not a child, they're younger than you. Um, or fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Again, though, I'm seeing that perhaps a an apology is being extended, and somebody's very curious about it, um, but an enthusiastic about um, bringing some kind of new beginning. But I am seeing kind of uh, things not moving forward in terms of like, I don't know that anybody's talking or doing anything about it. And it might, you might get somebody say, well, you know, yeah, I forgive you, but I don't want to talk about this or I don't want to be involved any further. I forgive you, but we got to part ways. Okay. For others of you, there could be a, a very synchronistic new beginning if you're putting out a job offer, although I don't really see any feedback coming in this month. But in 2021, it might actually start bearing fruit. I mean, I didn't pull cards into 2021, so I can't tell you. But I do see a synchronistic new beginning here having to do with maybe a job application. Although in this month, I just don't see it quite happening as of yet. And then closing out this year, you have Seven of Water where there's a lot of options. But I don't know that you're clear on what's viable and what's not. And I think that there's a risk here that you've had some wishful thinking about something that turns out to not, you know, be able to stand the test of time. And there's a fallout. Maybe, again, a separation might involve a Scorpio. Um, but I see something definitely transforming. This is a big year of transformation because you're, you're ending things and you're beginning things. And I see it from beginning to end, this evolution throughout this spread. And hopefully it's bringing closure to some major cycles in your life. And yes, there's going to be apologies and, and reconciliation, and that's great. Um, but, you know, you... Um, Maybe the way that you go about getting closure with somebody is, is kind of unexpected. And you know what? I just realized I didn't do these. Let me get these three cards for Capricorn. Bouquet, compliments from an admirer. Well, we saw that. And that could be compliments with those knaves there. Knave of water. Dark man, dealings with a relationship. Dealings or a relationship with a man with dark hair or complexion. And I did see that, by the way, definitely in November. Uh, one of these uh, people here with the apology is a uh, dark haired. Okay. And then finally eggs success assured with good plans and hard work. Oh, that's bringing me back to all of this stuff about is this either fertility, a new pregnancy, a child. Okay. Or a new project, a new creative venture. All right. And somebody is doubting that this is going to work. They feel like this is risky or there's going to be delays or blockages or hardships that it's not the right time. But no, success is assured as long as you, you know, plan well and you put in the hard work, which is a consistent message I saw in the in-depth. 
um, definitely, you know, this is a year of you uh, leveling up, but it's going to come through some challenges, okay? And if you wanted advice on Vimeo about that with the astrology, the clarifiers, and the oracle card advice, the divine doors that are opening up, and how the angels are assisting you this year, I've got that over on Vimeo in the end depth. I hope you'll join me over there. It's got a generous three-month rental time frame so i do hope that you enjoy it and visit me over there if you want the link is down below till next time wishing you all the best capricorn be blessed